So, I just ended the first episode. On my end. All right. Yeah, in my opinion, it was a good time for a cut because, well, we successfully entered the second population class. Industry is stable. Okay, money is a bit down, and a ship of ours gets attacked. But details. <laughs> details. Yeah, I think it actually is a good time for me to end my first episode right here. Oh well, hush windows. I don't know if Boaty McBoat Boatface will even arrive at our harbor in time. Oh yeah, he will. He's he's getting there. The he'll the uh, pirate will get chased away. I think. Once he gets close enough. Come on, Bodie. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, uh, there he goes. That is what I really away. like about gunboats, that they can actually shoot to the front. Yeah. That is a nice one. I think I'm going to end my first episode right here after. Right after, after we, the uh, exciting battle. The exciting battle here that's about to happen. Boom, boom. Come on. You can do it. Oh, yeah. So, and how's George doing? George is doing well. Too bad he can't hear you say that. <laughs> oh, I need to stop. It's too early for that. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what I hate about sometimes, like, with, like, the flagship is, like, when you tell it to attack... It will like match the Every speed be of the enemy boat, and then it gets kind of stuck. Yeah, that is why I usually give them copy? just movement orders. Yeah. So, oh, here's our first newspaper. Do we want to manipulate it, or are we okay with it? Um, it looks okay to me because the happiness cancels each other out. Yeah, it also looks okay to me. Okay. All right. Um, publish, publish away. It's important. All right. Well, there's my first episode. And is that it? Yep. Yeah. One second here. Yeah, we are having a heavy overproduction of fish, schnapps, and working clothes. I expanded too quickly. All right, back in with my second episode now. Welcome back. And thank you. Thank you. Build more houses. I did. Look, you have, you have, you have a, you have a surplus. Game Our set. production, uh, yeah, but. In regards of money, we can support <laughs> 2,500 people now. Okay. Yeah, just look in the, well, let's see. Just, just look into oh. the statistics menu, and then you'll see, you'll see it. <laughs> well, there's you some materials to go build a new, uh, to settle that beer island real quick, too, so. Yeah, that would be great. Um, I'm taking our, uh, oh, okay, then you. Do what? I wanted to take our flagship for it. Oh, yeah, go for it. Because I, I was just putting those uh, the bosun and that other thing in there to kind of help with the pirates, and I'll just uh, I'll just keep building houses for you while you go do that. Thank you, sir. And you said you were wanting about a thousand surplus yeah, before well, you started the steel. Again, look at yeah yeah yeah. Before I start with the steel production, I want at least one thousand worker workforce surplus. Okay. Because I want to use at least two iron mines. Okay. Meaning I can support up to six uh, steel foundries. Okay. And they alone I will eat 1,200. Oh, yeah, they will. Yeah, they will eat up quite a bit. Well, I will work my way up towards 1,000 extra workers. That's going to take a while. <laughs> Yeah, is a vital matter, of uh, destruction and... quest. Well, I'll go ahead and accept Oi, it. And... Oh, it's a frigate, too. Hmm. Yeah, the frigate is weaker than the flagship, so... Nah, that's true. Okay, since we now have uh, so much stone available, I can start with the wurst production. 
Sausages. Yay, sausages. You know, I cannot eat sausages in real life. It's very sad. Why? They give me heartburn. Like, really, really bad heartburn. That is sad. It is very sad. It makes me it makes me very sad that I can't ha eat sausage. Oh, Bodie McBoatface needs to get up here and Oh, that's right. I can't build a repair crane until artisans. Dang. Yeah, but ships have self repair. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's very slow. Well, somewhat slow, but it'll work. And we have our first sausage hmm. productions. Isn't it two pig farms to one nope. slaughterhouse? Nope, that is about... Um, in regards of soap, we, you need uh, two rendering works for a soap oh, factory. Oh, that's right, that's right. I was like, I couldn't remember. Yeah, don't try to lecture me on the ra production <laughs> ratios. <laughs> <laughs> no, they changed that. Yeah, they I, was, I it, it used to be two pigs to one slaughter. It used to be two pigs to one slaughterhouse. No, that are you never. sure? I'm, I'm very sure. Uh, see, hold on. Where's my coffee? It's gotten cold. I have to go warm it up in a second. But what see, I really I had to had get enough. used to is that one flour mill can support two bakeries. Now that was the same in Anno 1404, though. Uh, no. What was yep. it? Yeah, no, yeah, it was. Sure. it was. Now I'm not sure. Settlement. Yeah, it, in Anno fourteen oh four, it was one one windmill could support two bakeries. I do remember that. I thought it was two one one, but uh, to be fair, I did not play Anno fourteen oh four in like two years now. Yeah, no, it was two one two. I mean, same as it is now. The last time I played it was well for the channel, <laughs> and <laughs> that was a while back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the imperator scenario that I had to uh, oh, God, break up that... due to the uh, due to the memory leak issue that I had. That I couldn't. Yeah, the fixed. memory leak in Anno fourteen oh four was really bad. I I had to deal with that quite a bit. And I know that in the last episode there was also a tornado. I miss <laughs> the disasters. I miss natural disasters like that. They were really fun. Yeah, but too frustrating for casual players. Yeah, that's true. They were, They could be frustrating. Also, we should not forget uh, that um, this is still the engine of Anno 2205, and when Anno 2205 was created and the engine was planned for it, um, mm -hmm. they followed an entire different concept about how cities are going to be handled, how catastrophes are being handled. So hmm. maybe they just need a few more years of time to adapt it properly so that it can handle these uh, this kind of catastrophe again. Oh, that would be kind of cool. I would like to see that. You know, I actually... I'm one of those odd people. I enjoyed Anno 2205. I actually it, did as well. A lot of people hated it because it wasn't the classic Anno. And I understand that argument that a lot of people had that it wasn't like the classic Anno. But I enjoyed it for what it was. It just did not have very much replayability because it was always the exact same map over and over and over. Yeah. I mean, what I used to say about Anno 2205 is it's a great city builder but a bad Anno. Yes, exactly. Because Anno is also about diplomacy, about war, about uh, discovering a new world and, well, mm -hmm. a randomly generated world is more fun to discover. So <laughs> It is. I mean, I can still remember when I was back in like 1999, 20 years ago, when I first played Anno 1602. Ah, uh, that was one of my first video games. Yeah, it was one of my <laughs> earlier early video games was Anno 1602, and starting with that little ship and first discovering the island and hearing the narrator saying, "No, you know, a new island has been discovered," and I was so excited just find this new little island and it had the the natives and stuff on it and it was so much fun it's like fond memories so you can have a ship again for yourself 
And maybe, maybe even do oh, the, okay. uh, do the distra uh, destruction quest. Ah, that's right. I'm gonna work my way up there. Glad you said that, because I almost forgot about it. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got the... Uh, got a couple of those little items in there to help out with destroying ships. So, uh, we're, uh, we're, to we're, we're barely halfway to the goal. Well, we're at about 400 extra workers. <laughs> Almost okay. enough for one chain. Don't forget, these numbers will get smaller as soon as I start producing soap and bread. Yes. Ship under attack. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and we won't. We'll get a few workers back from it. Wait, ship was under attack. Oh, that's fine. Oh, hey, oh, the flagship decided to go right through the middle of the pirate base. That's that's great. That's smart. Get out of there. Ah, I miss waypoints. I miss being able to set waypoints for ships. That was that was handy. All right, get up there, away from the pirate island. All right, there we go. Let's see. What are we up to? Well, our flagship's only at half health right now. He's probably not going to be able to take on a frigate at half health. Yep. Not going to happen. Yeah, he's gonna have to hang out for a moment and repair. And I'm going to start a sail production somewhere down here real quick. So I can start building some more ships. I mean, even a few little gunboats will kind of help early wow, game, I guess, even, pirates. The sail production mm -hmm. even did fit in there right perfectly. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed like that. This. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's that's nice. Too bad the uh, sheep farm won't fit in there perfect. It's one tile off. I always have this like really odd issue with everything being one tile off. Five hundred and twenty workers now. Getting there. How's our second little island coming over there? What are you doing to it? Not much yet. Starting with producing the basics. There aren't enough of us. All right. It will take a while until the island will take off, but it will be a nice second city with the yeah. entire beer production. Yeah, it would. Let's see. I mean, it's ah, already further advanced than, uh, than George's second island. <laughs> George is a little slow, isn't he? Alright. I mean, Let's he see. already built a church in his city. Yeah, do I have? Okay, we do have enough stuff for a church now. Well, I have a church now, too. Or we have a church now. Everybody can go to church. Have yeah, you, uh... I was uh, about to say, uh, this is communism. We have a church. <laughs> we have a church now. Uh, it looks like we don't need a police station, because you haven't modified any... any raids, uh, and everybody's happy. 
It can still happen. Oh, can it? I thought it could only happen if the people were unhappy. No, even if they are happy, they can riot. Which well, is, in my opinion, riot. totally stupid, but... Yeah, it's like, what are you rioting for? You're, you're fine, you have everything you need. We are rioting because it's going too well. Exactly. I'll build one here shortly. No, go passive defense. Flagship. Yeah, looks like we have some more quests I could do while I wait for some materials to come back in. Another pickup quest. Get up there. Way over there. Well, oh, I think that was one of was that? Oh yeah, it's one of his uh, like long quests. Hmm. Okay. Now we'll go do that too. So I'm starting with our bread production. I noticed that our farmers went down. Now, give you some more farmers. There we go. Yeah, give me more farmers. More human, farmers. Human trafficking. I actually had hoped that our collaboration would be a bit more chaotic because at the moment it's quite a lot of harmony that we are experiencing. At the moment. <laughs> yeah, at the it's moment. It's still very early. It's still very early game. A lot of things can happen in the meantime. Oh yeah. It is very early game at the moment. Okay. Thinking that's going to be enough for the flagship to go and take out that frigate. So, second bread production is also standing. All right. Yeah, we're still filling up those farmers' houses, so that'll. Slowly but surely brings more workers in, or farmers in. Employees! That's the word. Employees. Uh, we are not in end of 2017. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, flagship. Attack them. There you go. Save. Oh yeah, flagship will be fine. Maybe. Come on, you can do it. It's gonna be close. Ooh. That's gonna be real close. Uh, uh -oh. yeah, there are two pirate ships coming. Oh crap. I didn't even see them. No! Okay, hold on. Dang it, I didn't even see them. That's fine. I can buy another one real quick. Oh dear. Lost your flagship. Yes, I lost my flagship. The pirates came in and like got the jump on me from behind. That sounds quite rapey. <laughs> okay, well we have a new flagship. Okay, do you need any more farmers or kind of upgrade a couple of houses? Well, I need more money. Yeah, we need more money, definitely. Let's find a spot to start building some more houses right here. Okay, what's blocking me? Oh, there we go. Alright, there. A little money. Little bit of money. Not much yet.
Oh, look, those houses fit in perfect right next to where you put in that uh, clay, that clay mine. <laughs> that is absolutely perfect. Yep, that is great. <laughs> Love when that works out. It's like, I, I meant to do that. I totally meant to do that. Yeah, that was totally on purpose. All right, some more fire stations, because that's going to be a thing. There we go. You reached a new milestone. Oh, I want to go pick up my items that I lost when the pirates decided to be cheapskates. Get a cheap kill in. I keep going to try to find that button that lets you like fast forward time. <laughs> yeah, that is not possible in multiplayer, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That was uh, Archie that gave me that quest, not not her. Let's see. More houses to upgrade. I think this is the fastest I've ever built a city this large. <laughs> Good. Almost have all the workers you need. Almost. I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Yeah, your little industrial area looks like a... It actually, yeah. it actually looks nice. It's actually a, a nice looking area. Look, why would you do that to me right there? What? <laughs> I had all I had everything all nice and balanced and all of a sudden boo I have no work no farmers anymore I always want the light over production <laughs> <laughs> I just messing me up resist. <laughs> messing me up here <laughs> So, looking at this, I, I guess the uh, filter by productivity is, is that. Hmm? What? I'm, I'm looking into the statistics thing, trying to. Oh, there's that. I am quite oh, there's some money. By your kindness. Okay, I see. Con consumption versus production. So that's like the. So, like the workloads basically was being. Well, it was being underproduced. Uh, it was being 11 out of 12, and I decided 11 out of 17 is better. Okay. <laughs> now, it just gives us uh, a bit more buffer. I always want to have, like, one or two in the plus so that we can react to quests and so on. Yeah. Okay, I see right here. Okay, I understand it now. So where it, where it says like seven under the consumption versus production, we're actually producing, well now it's at five, but it's producing that many more than what we have to have. And if it says negative, then we're, produ we're not producing enough. Okay, yep. this makes sense now. So actually soap and beer, which we haven't produced any of yet, I guess. Yep. Is that negative one? Okay. Oh, that is so, such a beautiful thing right there. All right, I'm going to send the flagship over to pick up the castaways for George, get his quest started. 
And let's see. And get you some more workers. Yes, I need more slaves. More people. Uh, I'm also. Am I gonna do this? Yeah, I'm gonna build a gunboat. I'll get rid of it event later on, but at least one go gunboat to get started, or maybe two gunboats just to kind of patrol the front, the main area right here, and take out any pirates. These little uh, pirate gunboats kind of keep them in check till I can replace them with frigates. But for gunboats, we need cannons. All oh, right, we start with ten tons of cannons. Forgot about yeah, that. we start with ten, so I can at least build one. That should give me. No, that's enough to build one cannon tower or two mounted guns. That's right. She's already pumping out a whole bunch of pirate ships over there. Eight hundred workers. I'm not used to playing on medium income. This is a little, a little tighter on the money than I'm used to. Uh, <laughs> I like it tight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Said they're getting at me for the puns, and here you go with them. Like yeah, I know. Uh, Humor is usually not the German strong suit, but <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you just, you just it just presents itself too easily. Sometimes you just have to enjoy the little things in life. Okay, you that do. sounds rapey and. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Enjoy the tender moments. So our second settlement now also has a uh, has a fire station. All right, cool. I haven't even come to look at what you've built down here. It's very uh very well organized. Well, I've used that layout in the medium phase of my playthrough. Yeah. It worked quite well, actually. So, and what is yeah, George doing my... in the meantime? Yeah, what is George up to down here? He built Game a school. Save. He has built a school. I, I, I usually build a school last when I'm, like, ready to actually upgrade them. It's because it doesn't do anything for your population. Well, it gives a, few, a bit more workers, but it doesn't give money. So, um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm also not only going for uh, waiting for 1,000 worker workforce, but also with like plus 1,000 account balance. I mean, oh uh, yeah, that's gonna be a because the steel production is just <clears throat> expensive. Yeah, once we get the beer coming in, that will uh, that will help out that quite a yeah, bit as the well. Issue, the issue is for beer, I need steel, but we can buy that. Yeah, we can buy a little bit of steel from Archie up here. He's got uh, he's got 18 right now. Looks like uh, Madame Kahina has another quest for 5,000, a delivery quest. And pick up some crates. Well, I'll uh, use the gunboat for that since there are pirates prowling the waters. All right. Well, there's your thousand workers. Now I just gotta get get you some get you some money. Okay. How can I destroy your little balance over there? No, don't uh, be destroying my balance. Yeah, we are overproducing on everything. Yeah, which is not a bad thing, especially if we're gonna be expanding quickly. We got sausage and. Sales all coming in.
No, I can't build a school anyways because I don't have steel, so. I forgot. Oh. New propaganda articles unlocked. Did they make a new little clinking sound? You pick, click on like flotsam and stuff floating in the water. Could be. It sounds like a new little clinking sound. I don't, I don't recall hearing that. Uh, what's Eli want? I sentence you to not Another pickup quest. Them. Oh, hey, look. Oh, there, there's it's you and nice Ironworks item. and foundries. Yeah, we want that. Yeah, we definitely See want that. And that's going to be easy because I'm taking this down. Actually, I can go do that on my way to George's Island. A good outcome. Uh, yes, I do want to pick up the goods. And we need to deliver those. By the way, I'm going to create a Shit. charter route. Uh, okay. For transporting bricks to the second island. Okay. Because it does not have a clay deposit. Oh, I noticed that. That's odd. Hmm. Madame Kahina asks if you're ready to pick up the cargo. Are I did. You ready? Yeah, I did. It's uh, I have it being sent down to the the clipper that she wants it delivered to. I'm confident it's ready to go. Oh, newspaper. What do we got? A shipyard. The African Queen was bought. I'm okay with it, because I don't think we're at the risk of any riots at the moment, really. Yeah, it's totally okay. Okay. Publishing. Yeah, once we get the soap production up and running, then we can start selling all that excess soap like you were talking about earlier. Get some money coming in. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, I can crank up the soap production to unholy degrees. That is possible. <laughs> and then we just create a direct trade route. <laughs> <laughs> just sell all excess over set amount. There's a uh, pirate gunboat chasing my gunboat. Don't chase my gunboat. Go away. Let's see. Game save. More workers. More money. Repaired at least. Oh yeah, that gunboat is that pirate gunboat is aiming for me. It wants to give you some love. It does, and I don't know if I want that kind of love right now. It is... Ship under attack. No, nope, little gunboat is not a match for pirate gunboat. Gotta run. Get back to town, little little Toto. <laughs> His name is Toto. Get back to town, Toto. Hurry. Ah, oh, he's running away. Good deal. Yeah, you go away and leave my little gunboat alone. Alright, picking up the stuff for Eli. I gotta turn that in. That'll give us a little more money again. Then I can do a little more expansion. I just copied an entire city district, though most of it is oh not duplicated. Wow. That is that's just really, really cool. I love that tour. 
Yeah, that is real. I'm going to have to, uh, I need to make like a nice standard little layout somewhere on mine and uh, test that out. All right, there's Eli's stuff. Ready to <laughs> bail me out? Uh, yes, I'm ready to hand that quest in. And there's that awesome little item for you. I'd like to see more of that strength in you. Thank you, George. George is a nice guy. Yep, he is. He is going to die sooner or later. Aww. Leave George alone. <laughs> what? I want his museum <laughs> items later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, George. Your museum items are worth more. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like if you want to be inheritance of someone. <laughs> Sometimes you succeed them earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the island to the north is also not bad. The one above Archie. Yeah, uh, to the right or, of Archie. Oh, the Here, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not bad either. It's got some nice oil on there, coal, iron, clay. Lots of room for fur. Fur is one of those things that's like, God, you need so much fur. Do you? I always needed a lot of fur. Such hmm. kindness humbles me. All right, there's all those turned in. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, the royal taxes are kicking in. Oh, that's always fun. <laughs> yeah, it's also interesting that the game never explains what they actually are. No, it never does. It, it just... It just kind of plops that in on you and never s explains that oh yeah you're gonna get taxed for having all these people in your town so the little schooner that is sending all the bricks to me is called conqueror it's that's the, kinda cute it's the it's the little schooner that could <laughs> Okay, so in the meantime, I'm seeing we need more schnapps. More schnapps? Yeah, 16 out of 16. Ah, yes. So, time to let the magic tool do its <laughs> work again. Boom. New schnapps district created. Which means more workers are needed. Details. <laughs> so... Um, <clears throat> another fishery would also not be bad. Let's see. Some more workers would not be bad. Oh no, that's not going to fit right. Dang it. Rearrange. And now we have some buffer again. Alright. Yeah, I've got a little buffer on the farmers again, too. Mm, the one thing, I just, I just completely thought about this, and uh, yeah, I haven't really considered trains or anything, so gonna have to rearrange the entire city or just bulldoze it and rebuild it yeah yeah I may have to think about that here very soon live on to my legacy <laughs> just bulldoze the whole thing and start over again yep that's how you do it yeah it's probably what I'm gonna have to do because I uh, didn't really 
think about the uh, leaving room for that. I never think about leaving room for that stuff until like later on. I'm like, oh yeah, I probably should have done that. Actually, I think I see a good spot where I can do it and it won't be too awful disruptive. Maybe. Oh, it's time for the first of many rearrangings. And spending all the money on <laughs> relocating. Okay. There we go. Uh, so, see. I believe on the second island we should now have enough farmer workforce. Oh, I'd say that's a lot of farmer workforce. Good lord. That's a lot of farmers. Yeah, soon they will receive an upgrade. Let's see. I need... What do I need? No, not gonna do that. I just got to remember that I got to leave this room right here for a train to come down through the center somewhere somehow. Oh, I love that work close layout. It just works and it's small. It is. I like that. I do like that your work close layout. It's very very compact and works out well. It's a very nice layout. You did good. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I see they still haven't fixed the weird thing where if you start trying to click and move things too fast that it selects the same building over and over again. Or maybe that's just me having odd difficulties with selecting stuff. Yay, soon the brakes will arrive. Good. That the first shipment of bricks finally coming in? Yep. And then I can build more storages. <laughs> I'm creating my uh, after the fact. Okay. layout for the uh, train the uh, rails so you're already preparing yeah yeah figure I'll go ahead and get prepared for it now instead of trying to do it later deal trying to deal with it later on but as I said the bulldozing tool is your friend yeah but so is the move tool yeah but there's no mass moving I know which is annoying but there's mass bulldozing <laughs> But these are all workers already. I don't want to have to redo all of that. <laughs> oh, that was Lose all my hard work. That was such a hassle to get all the people to become investors again. Oh my god, yeah. I, I don't think I could do, deal with that. That would drive me insane. Took me like four episodes or something like that. And everybody was like, why did you do that? I was like, I have no idea, because it's fun. I don't know. Do I look <laughs> like a guy with a plan? <laughs> oh, I totally uh, forgot how... Yeah, how expensive depots are. Oh, yeah, they're very expensive. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, yeah, we have no money now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As, well, I'm sitting here spending, like, what, 62 coins per building to move him? So, I'm not helping. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop moving buildings for the moment. It's getting a little, uh, getting a little costly. But hey, at least we now have a nice looking harbor, though it's a bit incomplete. Which harbor? On the second island. Oh, second island, okay. 
Yep. Not bad, not bad. I prefer to use warehouses as walls. I know it has no significance of the game, but... <laughs> it works. Let's see here. Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot tie no, children to any them. Assistance may influence <laughs> Her Majesty's sphere. God, Archie and his... Just the things he says, I swear. Yeah, he's so annoying. <laughs> Finally, oh, I, I can let go of that pent-up gas. Did you do the voiceover, voice acting for him? Because that was like just exactly on point. <laughs> <laughs> that was on point. Uh, okay, I just dropped off that book that increases the uh, stuff for the uh, iron works and everything in the in on the on our main island. Thank you. So we now got workers on our second island. Oh, good deal. I love the snow yep. in the background. It's very nice. Can it stay like this like all the time? I don't want that to ever change. To be fair, I also like the rain. Yeah, the rain is nice. Alright. Speaking of workers, I need to do some major upgrading on ours. There we go. Oh, coming in with plenty of money again. Yeah, I'm thinking about spending all that money on stone roads in the industry district. <laughs> I usually do that after electricity comes in and they uh, switch over to using uh, like motor vehicles. Really? Before electricity, you only have dirt paths? Yeah. Even in your city? Yeah. Oh. I know. Yeah, these great engineer houses. And then that dirt. Engineer houses don't, um... Uh, well, no, they... they yeah, I'm never around thinking about artisans. I, I keep certain types of roads next to certain buildings just because they look aesthetically correct, like the workers. Hmm. Like the borders of the worker houses fit perfect with a dirt road, but if you put them next to a, a brick road, it doesn't look right. So I get very particular about that. I don't know. I'm odd, very odd things. That... No, 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 I do it the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Game saved. There is flagship. He's still working his way over. Why don't you not sail right next to the pirate base? That would be awesome. He's going to just skirt the bottom of it. Yeah, I forgot Snowflake's the one where the pirates are in the very center of the map. So they're like constantly in the way. Ah, details. <laughs> well, there's you eighteen hundred workers and two and twelve hundred income. Good. As soon as I'm done here with the second island, having uh, Everybody. sausages and so on, sausages and bread, I will focus yep. on the steel production. All right. So on that is actually a very good point to shoot a thumbnail for the second episode. Uh, I agree. I think I want to do that as well. I don't know what to make a thumbnail of. <laughs>